After Bitcoin has broken out of the rising wedge pattern, we are creating an incredible, incredible falling wedge pattern, which is right now retesting its resistance. And on today's update video, I will be discussing the exact reason why Bitcoin moved towards the upside, because the stock market is right now hitting new autumn highs. Michael Saylor announced that he bought another 18,000 Bitcoins. The Federal Reserve is right now likely going to be cutting its rates by 50 basis points in the next meeting. So guys, there's a lot of things to discuss and I will be exactly revealing the reasons why we are currently pushing up higher and why most likely we could be in for a massive rally towards the upside if Bitcoin does break above this exact resistance. So without any further ado, don't forget to once again slap that like button back above 1000 likes. It will be highly appreciated. And with that being said, let me jump straight away in towards the content. So first of all, we can clearly see that ever since we had that downtrend in place on the price action on Bitcoin, we of course formed that bottom and then we start to see higher lows together with higher highs getting created and currently clearly we are trading in an uptrend on the imminent short term and what is more important to understand right now is that the most important reason why bitcoin is actually pushing towards the upside right now here is that the odds are changing from out the federal reserve about their next interest rate decision so in four days we're going to be having the next fomc meeting and now if we're looking at the probabilities there is right now a 50 percent chance the federal reserve is cutting the rates with 50 50 basis points and if we're going to be looking at the probabilities right now here it is going to become extremely likely that we're going to be seeing massive massive rate cuts and to be exact totaling 1.5% already in 2024 and ever since this news came out here of course we do know that historically speaking whenever the federal reserve cuts its rates it is a good thing for bitcoin it's a good thing for the stock market like you can see from this chart right here because literally the last bitcoin bull market got initiated due to the fact that the federal reserve was cutting their rates and basically stimulating the economy again here and due to that the stock market had a significant rally towards the upside currently is once again knocking against resistance on the top side and more importantly bitcoin followed as well at that point here i mean in fact while well, indeed the stock market is trading against autumn highs bitcoin is not trading as high as the stock market but still it is following towards the upside and eventually we could be overtaking that and also one of the reasons bitcoin potentially has pumped here is because michael saylor yesterday announced he bought another 18,300 bitcoin for an approximately 1.1 billion US dollars so there is still massive buy pressure entering this market and that is a very great thing for the market as well here and now he is holding over 244,000 bitcoins and he is in a lifetime profit of about 5.2 billion US dollars so that is absolutely massive he is still accumulating more bitcoin he is not stopping anytime soon and if the Bitcoin price is going to be increasing even further, he is going to get the opportunity to even buy more because his company is getting valued more and he can borrow more against it. So that is actually a very great thing for Bitcoin. And what is also very important to be paying attention towards is that yesterday we were looking at the rising wedge pattern. And I said, if we break above the top side, we're most likely going to be continuing higher. And that is exactly what happened. Bitcoin was still trading in the pattern. We broke above the top side resistance and we moved higher from off that point here. Also on the 12 hour time frame, we can actually right now, if we start to zoom out here, look at a very interesting chart right here. Because first of all, we bounce from of that very important white box of support here, which you can see here flipped into resistance, then flipped into support. Here also flipped into support. And now we're trading above it. And at the same time, we're starting to see an ever so slight downward sloping resistance line getting created from the top side, right? And this downward sloping resistance line together with the upward sloping support line from the lower side could be potentially create one of the largest consolidation patterns we have seen in a very long time for Bitcoin. And this is, in my opinion, then also the most important resistance for Bitcoin to be breaking above of. And I do really think this level is most likely going to be providing significant resistance for Bitcoin. But whenever we break above it, that is the point where we're going to be seeing a big breakout. And I straight away want to be talking about that we're currently seeing, of course, Bitcoin still trading in a downtrend. And the moment we flip this downtrend, I believe the big rally towards the upside is going to get started. And talking about a trade, guys, I'm currently looking at the new trading setup. And I'm going to be discussing it in a second. But if you are interested in trading yourself on cryptocurrencies, on Bitcoin or whatever, guys, don't forget to go to the highest link description of today's video because if you press on this link right here, you can not only claim a 30,000 US dollar deposit bonus, but you will also come to this page where you can currently claim a free 500 US dollar airdrop position. And this is ending in exactly four days from now on, like you can see right here. So if you want to be claiming a free 500 US dollar trade, 
Go to the link description of today's video right now and sign up an account to Bybit to claim this insane bonus. But talking about my next trade here, first of all, I said that I was waiting for an opportunity on the lower side. Unfortunately, I have not got that opportunity. But right now, I am looking at a new trading opportunity because if you're zooming out, you can see that Bitcoin not on the daily or you could be either approaching it on the two-day time frame, but Bitcoin is just creating one massive falling wedge pattern. And I mean, I have been bullish in this entire region. I've always said that ultimately, Ultimately, I think Bitcoin is going to be moving higher. Ultimately, Bitcoin is going to be breaking out towards the upside. And now we're starting to see a pattern that potentially is giving us a massive trading opportunity exactly in this falling wedge pattern right now on the daily time frame. So Bitcoin is creating that downward slope resist line I just mentioned, but also and downward sloping support line where we've also bounced from every single time here and the breakout target of this exact falling wedge pattern on bitcoin is quite insane here because if we're going to be measuring the breakout from the point where it's going to be breaking out that is of course really depending we are most likely going to be hitting a target between 79,000 US dollars and 76,000 US dollars which would also mark a new autumn high for bitcoin and if we're going to be looking at this chart, which really got me excited yesterday, and that's why I posted it on my X page, it has been 162 days since the last Bitcoin all-time high. And if we're going to be looking at this chart right here, it makes sense that somewhere around this level where we're currently sitting in, we are most likely going to be hitting an, a new all-time highs anytime soon here. So yeah, this is getting myself very excited. I mean, Bitcoin is getting ready for a new all-time high here. And I do believe that a good trading setup right now here, in my opinion, is to see Bitcoin break the downward slope and resist line, basically confirm confirming the break of the falling wedge pattern and if we then uh, confirm the breakout flip this level in support and if we then see the break above the previous halt of high and if we then see the break above the previous range high in the market that is the confirmation we are most likely going to be going to 76,000 US dollars and that will be a massive trade in my opinion so you're going to so I am still thinking about what I'm exactly going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be calculating my risk after I recorded this video. Maybe I'm going to be opening up my trade on the support retest, or maybe I'm going to be opening up my trade whenever we confirm the break above the previous range high to see an extra confirmation in the market. But anyways, I am getting ready for a new trade to be opened. And you can see here on the two-day time frame, guys, we're exactly bouncing from the lower side of the bull flag pattern. Bitcoin is ultimately still looking extremely bullish on the long term, like I said many times before. And yes, if Bitcoin does come down we are still at least i am still going to be interested in accumulating more and actually the fractal i've been talking about about this 175 days of consolidation is been exactly playing out here because after this 175 days of consolidation we exactly found the bottom and bitcoin after that went towards the upside so the fractal i discussed on this channel has actually exactly played out and yes guys if we're going to be looking at poly markets uh, which is going to be quite important for crypto most people said um we can see that it is currently harris that is leading but I, yesterday i made a post because i did some research with my team and actually every single time whenever it is in u.s election bitcoin goes up so no matter who's going to be winning Every single time, Bitcoin has been going up. So should we be worried right now? In my opinion, I don't really think so. So let's see how it's going to be playing out here. But anyways, the US election is happening in an approximately 52 days from now on, guys. It is becoming very close right now here. And ultimately, I think Trump is going to be more bullish for crypto. But if Harris wins, it is not going to be necessarily over, in my opinion. And with the Federal Reserve right now cutting rates by most likely 50 basis points in the next meeting, this could be something very great for the market right now here. And the reason why they're probably going to be aggressively cutting the rates here is because Europe has also been starting to aggressively cut their rates as well. And probably there's too big of a difference between them. They want to be on the same and they want to be on the same level. So this is it for me in today's update video, guys. This is the exact reason why Bitcoin is currently pumping. So guys, without any further ado, don't forget to slap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.